What's up, guys? I'm your boy, Jay Wayne. You know, represent Team Take Profits. And uh, just wanted to uh, do this live overview with you all. I know a lot of people uh, might not be on today because a lot of things is going on in the world. But definitely for the one, I know everybody is not into the same things. So I definitely um, want to accommodate you guys and help you all that want to um, see what's going on and learn how we mark up the charts. So um, I'm basically doing a live overview of the markets. I won't be going over every pair. I will be going over the, uh, the major ones. But if you have any pair that you want me to look at to help you figure it out, then comment in the uh, box, uh, in, the, in the message box, and I'll be happy to help you. Um, but I want to share my chart here. All right. So the first one I want to get at is, <clears throat> is GU. Okay, let's take all of this stuff off. GU, what's going on with GU? This is a trade that I'm actually in right here. This is how I like to mark up my little trade so I can go back. Because if you go on your phone and, um, and you look at the history, it's kind of hard you know, to go back a year or go back six months or even three weeks to try to find and, and look at the numbers and the date and the day and the time that you took that trade to, to log your journal. But if you do this with your trade, Put your entry point here. Mine is like a little purple magenta. Put my stop loss here in my, uh, my target, my potential target. I might stop it here, close it. I might take it to the next quarter point. I don't know, but it's easier to look at it this way and, you, and the marks stay up. You see what I'm saying? You know, and so as price continue to go, I can look back and say, here was the winning trade. Here was the losing trade. So, but... Um, GBP USD, let's go to the daily. Look at this. So this was, I don't know if anybody caught this, man, but this was beautiful. Um, as I honestly, I was late to the party, guys. I was late to, the, to this big drop that happened. I was definitely late to this. But I did start to catch up on it down here. So I was calling out sales, you know, with my team, you know, and, and, and you know, as far as in the uh, Discord and everything, I was calling out, you know, sales. I, would, I didn't catch the whole thing because I don't trade that way. But as it was dropping, I say, okay, sell here. Caught a little bit of the buy, then sell here. So why did it drop so heavy, though? Well, here's the thing. You can mark this, mark this up right here. If you go on a daily on GU, you will see this for yourself. This was a, a demand zone and price shot out of here. Right? Right up in here, price shot out. So, boom. Then we kind of, you know, ranged a little bit on a daily. And then here's a double top. Here's a double top right here. But there's patterns within patterns on different time frames. But here's a, a, a double top drop. Okay, a bigger double top. And then a drop. So since we saw this all the way up here, you can just mark that up. <clears throat> you can mark that up. And when price decided to, if it wanted to come back up here, you would be ready. Boom. You could have easily caught that sale. But I will get better at that. Um, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, a, uh, I'm basically, I work full time, guys. So it's, I don't catch all of these moves right from the beginning. And these bigger thousand pip moves because this this is a thousand pips right here um but as i um you know go part-time or you know finally quit my job then i'll be able to catch these moves but i do pretty good working a full-time job so um so the drop happened so here we go so now where are we at now we're back to the demand zone back to the demand zone all the way down here okay and man, this this drop happened pretty quick in a couple days. That's why I love GU. So we're back here now. I got, got my little Fibonacci in the way. What's my little Fibonacci? A little something, something. All right. And this is where we at now. So 
we got a I made a video on YouTube if you want to go check it out. My video, um, uh, my YouTube channel is J Tech Profits, but <clears throat> it's basically coming back up. And let's let's zoom in a little bit. It wicked out right here on this quarter point, dollar thirty-three, and kind of held right up in here, kind of held. Um, this could go back down, okay? But we want to see how it react to this quarter point. So mark your charts up, guys. Right now, or screenshot this. Um, put a line on your phone. I give you a second. I'm gonna go too fast. I give you a minute, but put this quarter point on your um, on your uh, phone or your laptop. Uh, let me see here. A dollar thirty-four. Put that on your phone. Mark up a dollar thirty-four. Yeah, mark up a dollar thirty-four because we want to see if price respect a dollar thirty-four. You know, or do it, is it going to blow past it and hold? So that's what we want to see. But I'm very confident that it's going to go to a dollar thirty-four because on a Fibonacci here to the large quarter point is is it held halfway. This is the 50. This is the 50. And obviously it held. It closed above 50. So we definitely go into a dollar 34, but we want to see how it reacts to the dollar 34. Okay, so I'm in this buy right now, but we want to see really for the oh, that's just a short move. But the bigger move is this is how we want to play this. So mark that up on your chart, dollar 34, and see what happens. But if this thing holds at a definitely at a dollar thirty four and it keep making higher highs, then we want to be looking for buys now. The the trend is reversed. We want to start looking for buys. And um, and I'm not gonna ride this whole thing up if it does go up from from where I, where I entered. I'm not gonna ride it all the way up. That's just not the way I trade. I'm actually going to make a video on my YouTube channel teaching you the different styles of trading or the different uh, types of traders and, you know, which one can really best fit your personality. And I think a lot of people can uh, uh, use that type of video. So um, it's, it's some things out there, but I'm going to really go in depth on it. Um, so as this thing continue to climb, if it does, I'm just looking for buys. That's all I'm doing. I'm just looking for buys, waiting for a pullback to get over it, rise up again, catch the buy, waiting for another pullback to go over, catch it again on a buy. And I'm just going to piece it together all the way up. However, you know, however far it decides to go up. Okay. If it, if it, uh, if an engulfing candle, and I mean engulfing, I mean some candles like this, you see this big red candle. If an engulfing candle comes from this quarter point downward, then I'm just looking at that was just a temporary pullback, a retest, and just for the price to continue down, okay? And so then I catch that sale. So I'm not biased to either way. I'm just want to be reactive. So we looking at this. I'll answer your question in one second. Up here, we want to see if it uh, holds come back down you are you already understand this hopefully and we want to see it climb okay now this is just the daily though i we got to go down to the to the lower time frame a little bit but this is the daily so that's what we expecting to do if if that's the buy situation okay this is the buy setup okay and uh, let's see. The sale setup will be back up here, but it would it would drop here. That's the sale. If it come up here and then drop, so I don't know how would I mark that up. Let me see. Boom, like that. That's the sale situation. Okay, and these good amount of pips, so we ready either way. Okay, so. Let's go to the four hour. So what you want to do is on a daily is you want to mark these zones up. You definitely want to mark these zones up. I mean, this is a good time to answer a question. Um, the question is what indicators um, 
you know, or what settings I believe was my pivots indicator. That's on my YouTube channel. That's on my YouTube channel. Search Jake, take profits, because I can't go through all that because we only got like one hour. So um, go on my YouTube channel and I give you my whole setup. I give you everything, everything, every indicator I use on my phone and everything, I give it to you. So go to my YouTube channel, J Take Profits, and, and um, go through my playlist. And then it's called uh, How to Set Up Your Indicators. And you, and you will get it, everything, promise. All right. <clears throat> so uh, let's go to the uh, four hour. <clears throat> All right. And as you can see, why, why, did, why I'm in this buy, right? Look at this. So you are, we already went over this price hell, price hell, waked out start coming up tried to try to go back down couldn't break the um dollar a dollar th um 32.50 it couldn't break that level as you can see right here 32.50 uh, and it held right here boom came back up easy uh we was in that last week we caught this by last week on discord okay so plug in the discord because we calling out trades potential we're calling out potential trade ideas, okay? And we caught this buy. Now, you know, I just basically in this buy right here. So, but um, it's too late to get into the buy now. If you already haven't been watching it through through last week, it's too late now. You have to wait um, for a pullback. You have to wait for a red candle to show. Like, like you see this little candle right here? See this little red candle and it just spit out one little red candle and then engulfing. That's the way you're going to have to catch the next buy up to this quarter point. It has to come out with a red candle, um, close and another engulfing candle up and then you can get into the buy up here. Okay. So I, I think I want to give you this trade set up. Let's see. I'm gonna uh, copy this and put this in the, uh, in the chat. Um, we definitely looking at, at this GU cause it's definitely about to make a move and um, I'm not gonna miss it. So I hope you guys don't miss it. Um, all right, that trace set up is posted in the chat so you can uh, download that on your phone and look at the numbers and everything. Let's go down to the 30 minute. Really dissecting this boy. Look at this. I'm showing you trade setups, but I'm also giving you a little bit of the game, a little bit of education. Look at this. Easy. Head and shoulders. Got the shoulder came, you know what I'm saying? Came up with the head. Then the, then the shoulder came up again. Okay, we didn't, if you didn't catch any of this, that's fine. That's, but go, go ahead and cut the head off. Cut the head off. There go the head. We cut it off. Boom. Look how price respect that. It's, it's, it happens over and over and over. Um, if you find this on a higher time frame, then it's a bigger, longer move. Okay? But you can find these on a, a short, the shorter time frames. Okay? Like the 30 minute. And you can catch a little drop off. And that's a nice drop off. Say you caught it like right here. 90, 94 pips. That's beautiful. We don't need much more than that. We can just cash that every day and, and be rich, really, over time. Or wealthy, I should say. Um, so it came up. Here it is. Boom. This is where I respected that. Remember, I showed you that on a daily and four hour. This is how I respect it. This is what it looked like on a 30 minute. This is how you see when you dissect it, when you look at the overall trend on a four hour and then you go down to the 30 minute, it's easy to enter into these trades. We enter in off of wicking out off the wicks. We enter in off just price action holding at these quarter points and they held at 1.325. So when you put these quarter points in, doesn't it break up the chart for you? 
it breaks it up. You know, if it holds at a dollar thirty two, um, one point three two five, you know, if it holds here, we're going to go to the next one. And if it holds here, we're going to go to the next one. And then, you know what I'm saying? It breaks it up. It's so easy to trade this way. But I don't care what theory you use. What indicator you use, you have to know market structure. If you don't know that, then, you know, you're just going to be guessing and you're going to fail eventually. Um, so anyways, this is how we caught this buy up here. All right, it's easy. Look at this. Caught this buy, closed it at this quarter point, let it pull back. It wicked out. Oh, it, oh you're going to wick out on me? Catch the buy on up. That's what we did. Okay, look at this. Floor, ceiling. Ceiling right here. And we're not looking at a, a exact line, but we're looking at a zone. So look at this. This floor here from, from this part right here to up here, this was, a, this was a ceiling resistance, and it became support. Easy buy. Easy. This is, what, this is what I'm trying to tell you. This is what I caught. Like, it's easy when you break it up this way. So um, I'm not really trying to go through too much training right now because that's what I do with the team, and that's what I have my YouTube channel for. But um i do want to show you some things so i'm i'm i think i'm done with gu i gave you the setup i gave you the thought process behind it so let's move on uh any anybody before i move on do you have a chart that you want me to look at because i really only trade gu and eu honestly i made a lot of money just trading gu a lot of money over the weeks just trading one pair I became so committed to GU that I just know the movement. And some people are scared to just trade one pair, and you do have to have a little bit of patience. But once you, I'll be honest with you, some people just say, hey, I don't trade just one pair. I trade whatever pair is moving. One of the guys I really like says that. And that's fine. I, under, I definitely understand that. But if you can commit to one pair, it says my internet connection is unstable. Ah, you can, you can get so good at it where you can catch these little movements. You can catch movements in consolidation because you're so committed to that pair and you know the movement. So if you guys have any uh, pair that you want me to cover, type it in the box. If not, <clears throat> I'll move on to the next one I want to cover. So the last one was uh, kind of kind of marked up already. Let's get rid of all this stuff. I want to mark one up from for scratch for you guys, so you can see how I marked this chart up and get ready. Okay, here's the daily. Okay, if I don't if I can't understand the daily, I'm gonna go to the weekly. Okay, but I think that I can pretty much understand the daily looking at this chart. Okay, some people don't go way back. I just see, this is what as a as a beginner, this is what I like to uh what I what I like for you guys to do. Walk yourself, start back and walk yourself up to where price is. It's like a little warm up. That's all it is. Just like a little warm up. Boom. What did it do? What did it do? None of this stuff really matters that much but it's warming you up. It's getting your mind thinking right, okay? All right, we got a little uptrend, boom. It's getting you used to seeing this stuff. You marking it up. The more charts you mark up, the better you'll be as a trader. Okay, boom, could have caught this. Oh, I missed all of this. All right, that's fine. Okay, boom. Now we consolidated a little bit. Now you see how I'm, now I'm getting my zones right? Walk me right into my zones. Okay, so I can delete all that because I just did that to warm up. Walk me right into my little zone, support and resistance. I don't get too crazy because this is the daily. I'm not getting too crazy with my markups, okay? Just the strong points. Now, this is what I like to do. Watch this. Format, I want to go. I really want to do. 
this, pull out my daily line. Watch this, boom, you see that? It's already marked up. I already set as daily. It's my daily line. But I don't know why it's a dotted line. I don't like, I don't want no dotted line. Well, that's fine. We can do a dollar line for the daily. Okay, I already got it labeled. All right, and then I'm gonna mark up here. Let me see, do I wanna mark it right here? I think I wanna mark it right here. The reason why I wanna mark it here is because price kind of respected it at this level and it's the daily, so that's that's a lot to consider. Then came up and broke it. Then came down, couldn't pass it. Hit his head on the resistance level, you know. Then broke above it and made a floor and came up. So that's a lot of action. You look at this, even here, came up, came down, you know, came up, respect, had, you know, so that's a good level. So I'm gonna mark that up as my daily. So I'm gonna go template, daily, daily line, boom, easy. Make your trading life easy. <clears throat> All right, so we was on a downtrend, mark it up. We was on a downtrend, you see that? That line is really big. It was on a downtrend. So what, what are we doing now? Because really, it looked like we kind of broke out of the downtrend and held. And held, wicked out, and now we see this candle forming here right now. So let's take that. Uh, we, let's hold the trend line. Let's go to the four hour. Let me fix my chart up because it's really small. Boom, this is what it looked like on the lower time frame high held. So as you see it holding, hmm, this could be an opportunity for the buy. Okay. Let me let me check something. Cause cause what this could be is this. You feel me? This is could be just a little trick here for us. Cause look how this came all the way out to this line and dropped. If you go in and consider this activity, you know, all it is then yeah, it broke out. But if you consider way out here on the channel to that wick, look at this. Then this is all this is doing is just getting ready to drop again, back to that daily zone. So you, we have to be careful on this. We have to be caref careful. And we don't have to catch the impulse move. We just really wait. At, since this is the biggest point, you can wait until it break out and hold above this line. This still will be a lot of a lot of money to make. If it break out, let me show you. If it break out, and hold, now it, it don't follow my lines exactly. I'm just trying to predict the move. It could break out further high, retest and go back up. It can break out just one little candle, retest and come up. But you get what I'm saying. That's how you look at these markups, not exactly the length of these lines. And then boom up here, that's what we want. Okay, so there's no need to just hop in here. That's not the safest trade. We wanna trade safely, okay? So we waiting for that. Or all, all we need is a red engulfing candle and the show and we can just take that take that sell back down to the uh to the daily line and my line and my, uh the numbers are right here on the right hand side okay so how do i want to mark this uh let me delete these lines real quick i'm on a 4 hour let me delete this line and let me go do a little surgery here. Support and resistance. That's my support and resistance line. I got everything set up, everything as a template. And I want, this is the four hour markup now. My zone's on the four hour. Trying to see. Uh, 
This thing is little. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Um, I have trading view basic. That's the question. Do I have trading view basic basic or did I pay for the upgrades? Just the basic one. That's good enough. One day I might though. One day I might. What I want to do is this. Um, let me pull out a black line, a gray line, and where is price at? I want to mark up the quarter points because when it get confusing and I can't find zones, okay, this is real life. This is not scripted. I mean, doesn't script none of this. I want to pull out uh, the quarter points. So a dollar sixty. So let's go to a dollar sixty. Um, dollar uh, sixteen or one hundred and sixty, whatever you want. Dollar sixteen, and that there it is. Okay, and then you want to put another one. One, six, two, five. Uh, one point seventeen. Okay, where, where did it go? One point one seven. Okay. Boom. Okay. Now it's looking, now it's under making, now it's making sense. It's all I do. When I'm getting confused, I start breaking it down. 1650. Oh, you see? Now we're making sense now. Whatever, whatever, I don't care how tricky it is, I'm going to figure it out. I don't care who I got to talk to, what I got to do, what video I got to watch, I'm going to figure it out. There's one thing about me. So <clears throat> now I see the structure within this because it's the quarter points is a theory, but it's a really, really good theory, really strong. I mean, I just put these lines up and can't you, like, I didn't even rehearse this. I just put the lines up for the quarter points and you can see how it was, re how price was respected on these quarter points. And it's amazing. It really is. So hit that quarter point, 1600 wicked out, hit this one. Okay. Wicked out on this one. Boom. I'm expecting this. I'm definitely know that we can get into a buy at 1700. Uh, one point seventeen dollar seventeen, EUR USD, short term trade. Okay, we want to see because we at this quarter point, we want to see if it holds. We want to see because it's the four four hours, so we want to see if uh, because it, it really kind of wicked out here. So it definitely it definitely gotta have a uh, a hold up, like it gotta have a big engulfing candle pop out of here. We don't need the whole thing; we just need a piece of it. Let me show you how many pips this possibly is. I think it's 25 pips. 25 pips. Okay. Because of the situation that's at hand, because how this ended, because of how this ended, I want to say we don't need to, we, it's, it's not smart to just take it right here. Okay. Because this is a little consolidation. But if we get a nice engulfing popping out of here, we can get it. We know that part of that candle is going to start touching here. It's going to get up here. It might not hold, but we can catch and scalp some of that, that green candle that's going to try to reach up here. Okay, that's how I scalp. That's why I take big lot sizes. Make sure, see what candle popping out. If it's a green candle and it pops out big, it might not stay up here, but I know it's going to go up here. You feel me? And so I'm just quickly getting in and getting out. But that's just the short term, very short term type of situation. I want to talk about the overall move. Uh, we at 9.03. So <clears throat> we got a question here. When you're scalping, absolutely, Marty. The question is, um, do you, 
Um, watch the chart until you get out since you're scalping. Yes. Yes, since I'm scalping, I definitely watch the chart because scalping, honestly, should only last five, five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes, that's it. So, because that thing can go the wrong, you know, the opposite way on you. So, definitely. Um, definitely watching it. And now on the bigger, the bigger trades, the four hours and all of that stuff, you can set up an alarm clock that can, you know, basically alert you every four hours. You set an alarm clock on your phone every four hours because you got the time right here. So you can say you can set it to three, three hours and fifty five minutes. Okay, and you because you want to look at the chart. I don't. In the beginning, I I I watch the charts and I watch paint drop dry on the wall basically. But because I wanted to learn how these candles move. Now that I've been trading for a year, I set alerts. You or if you know up at a price point, like swipe trades, like swipe trades, I don't take the sale limit. I don't put the order in. All I do is just go to an alert, create an alert, and um, let me see right here. Right here, alert E U R U S D. So I just I just put it in place. Like maybe I want it up here. Maybe I want the alert to hit, you know, tell me when it hit a uh, dollar 17. Maybe I want to take the sell up here because it drop, you know, it might drop off or maybe I want to take the buy up here. You know, I don't know. But setting alerts. That's what I do for longer time frames. But I'm not trying to really train train y'all on that. I just want to go over this uh chart real quick. So it basically came up and held at a what price is that? It held around a dollar sixteen twenty five. A dollar a dollar sixteen fifty. It held right here, dollar sixteen fifty. So you see you see what I'm saying? So we wanna see if it's gonna <clears throat> Let's zoom out. Ooh, shoot. And we got to get the next quarter point out. 17.25. And one more. Not too crazy. Not too crazy. Just a little bit. 17.50. Right there. So if it goes up and help wick out, I mean, not wick out, but consolidate here. And you can see the consolidation right here. The little which, I mean, so we want price price to break out of here. We want to see what happens. It might be a big, it might be a big trade opportunity. It might not, but you definitely can catch some pips out of this. I don't honestly, man. I know a lot of a lot of six figure traders. Let me tell you guys. You think they catching? A thousand pips, and you think they catching all of this? They scalping a lot of them scalping, but the only difference is they have a lot of money in their account, and they know how to trade, so they know the direction. So if you know the direction, you know how to trade, and you got a million dollars, or a hundred thousand dollars, or fifty thousand dollars in your account, you take out a hundred dollar lot size, and you do that every day, four days a week. You see how you can become a six figure trader. Is you know so so keep it simple. I was on call with an eight-figure trader and taught me what they do, well, what he do, and what a lot of them do. So, so we want to break out, come up here, retest this, and we definitely come, we can come up. And also, let, let me pull out the Fibonacci, and then we almost done. I want to pull out the Fibonacci. This is a buy, so I want to go top down. Oh, okay. We held above 50. Let me see. I, it needs to be at 1700 though. Let me see. Is this at 1700? Yeah, this is 1700 line. Yeah. So we, yeah, we held above 50. Look at this. The 50% level came up on the buy, held up here. Yeah. So I like my chances on going up here. I like my chances going to the 161.8. That ain't going to happen overnight. But I'm definitely looking for a buy now to hitting these next quarter points.
I take one quarter point at a time. If it really blow past it, like how I did this, how I blew past these levels, then I stay in it. Obviously, I stay in it. But sometimes they just kind of tap them a little bit. You see what I'm saying? They just tap it and kind of consolidate. So we definitely go into the next quarter point because we, we held above 50. Don't take my word for it, but this is my analysis. This is my analysis. This is what how I trade. This is how I make my money. And price can do anything, and I react to it. I can have these markups, and they break out to the downside because of news, and I take a sale, even though the markup was a buy, because I react. But most of the time, you see that they respect these levels. So this is a good little markup here. I can't go no further than this because I don't have data. I don't have enough data, enough information to go any further with my markups on this, on this trade. So but we definitely held above 50. So let me give you this in the trade. Copy. Let me give you this in the group. I can't find my. There we go. All right, so I'm posting that. All right, so there y'all go. Y'all got what I'm looking at. I didn't, I'm, let me look through here. I don't really see any call out trades that you guys called out. So, so guys, um, <clears throat> take those uh, those screenshots and look at these numbers and add them to your phone. Copy it. And we're about to make this money, y'all. So uh, hopefully, hopefully that was helpful. Give, can I get a thumbs up? Was it helpful? Yeah, you know, maybe um, maybe you everybody didn't understand all the little ways I you know mark up the chart. But uh, if you watch this video over and over, it'll sink in. It'll sink in. So I definitely my goal is to help you guys become six figure traders. We can do this. We can do this. Look how easy I want to show y'all. I want to stick. Now I'm excited. I want to show y'all another thing. <laughs> but because I love I love trade, I want to help y'all win. But uh, if you mark it up in pieces and we trade in pieces so for beginners, it's easier to understand. It's easier to understand. It's not like, whoa, I got to catch, I got to go from here to all the way up here. That's not understandable for uh, beginners or, um, you know, so, but if you break it up in chunks, we, not, we might not make a, a thousand dollars, but we might make 800 of it. That's, that's fine too. Yeah. I'm not no greedy, no being greedy. No greed. We just want a piece of this. It's a $5.3 trillion market, and we just need to carve our little piece out of it. Yep. So, hey, I love you guys. Um, this, was, this was a great um, um, uh, live overview. So I hope you guys uh, make some money this week. Plug in the Discord because I call out my trades in there, my trade um, potential trade setups. And um, let's make this money, baby. Peace.